All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and review of this new Donner Telecaster. Uh, pretty simple guitar, uh, solid black, and uh, some basic appointments on it, but there's some pretty nice surprises throughout. So when you open it up, you're gonna get a 10-foot cable, just, you know, pretty decent quality. It's lightweight, but decent quality. And you're also gonna get a guitar strap, which is a little bit short for someone like me. I, I keep my guitars low, um, but yeah, it's pretty lightweight. It's thin, uh, a little bit short. Uh, it's brown. I'm not really into brown straps, but it'll be fine uh, for, for a, a new student or someone who's shorter than me. And uh, front pocket's pretty robust in this in this gig bag. You can fit some accessories in there. And uh, there's a guitar. Okay? I'm going to unwrap it and uh, you know, do a quick visual inspection um, for cosmetics and things like that. And do a quick feel ski to make sure that everything's in order. Just like the frets, uh, when you fret sprout in there, how do the tuning keys feel, so on and so forth. How do the knobs turn? How's the switch feel? All right, but um, yeah, we'll talk a little bit about the case uh, in a little bit. But overall, this guitar's fit and finish is really good. You can see here, the fretboard definitely needs a little bit of oiling. Uh, it's a little bit dried out, but that's expected. Um, but yeah, 22 frets, dot inlays, and um, yeah, it just put together, put together really well. Okay, we have basic tuners there. Those are easily swappable if you want to upgrade to like a you know, Grover set or whatever. Uh, it is branded Donner, which is cool. It's kind of a new touch for them. Donner uh, uh, plate in the back. And you have the string through. Uh, basic uh, instrument jack. It's nice and tight, but you know, it's, it works. And here's that cable up close. Again, it's got a 90 degree uh, plug on one side. And here's a close-up of that brown strap. Not really my thing, but you can see it's branded Donner as well, which is really cool. And we'll talk a little bit about that later. Here's an up-close of the uh, gig bag. It's sewn together really well. Uh, it's very thin, lightweight. You got a little uh, bumper there on the bottom. A nice handle. It's really thick and robust. Uh, the book bag straps are okay, you know, but you're not carrying a 10-pound guitar, so it's, it's all fine. Uh, padding is definitely thin, but you know, this will get your guitar from one place to another I'm not sure how much protection will give it because it is really thin material But it's definitely good enough um, for a new student and to, to get it back and forth wherever you need to go So here's a quick playthrough <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? This is the uh, more detailed, closer look of the DTC 100B Donner Telecaster guitar. Okay, again, that's a DTC 100B. Uh, this guitar is really solid for uh, for the money. I mean, this is a $130 guitar uh, with some really serious specs on it. Uh, really basic specs, but still very much a usable uh, guitar for a whole bunch of different levels of, uh, of playing. All right, so we start off with a maple neck. We have uh, pretty basic tuners here, but they are branded Donner now, which is kind of like a new thing for them. We have what's called a laurel wood fretboard. Now, I don't really know what laurel wood is, but it's a cross between, uh, looks anyway, it's a cross between like ebony and rosewood. Okay, it has like a grayish black kind of tint to it, but you know, still a nice wood grain and you know some hints of brown just like a rosewood would be. Uh, it is a little bit dry right now, so this is pretty much straight out of the box. So I haven't done any setting up or anything like that yet. But no complaints so far with the uh, the fretboard. I mean, it looks it looks great. I mean, once this is polished up and uh, oiled, this fretboard is really going to have a nice contrast to it. Uh, the frets themselves are in really good shape. Uh, they're polished nicely. They're uh, nice and shiny. Uh, no fret sprout. Uh, it's a little bit rough on the edges, but it's definitely not sticking out like, um, you know, it's not going to cut you or anything like that. Really simple fix with a little bit of sandpaper um, will do the trick or really fine steel wool. But uh, overall, yeah, it's, it's, this guitar has a good feel to it. It's a basswood body and uh, yeah, really no complaints there. You know, I'm really impressed with the specs of this guitar and the overall tone of it. So you have your basic controls here for a tele, you have your master tone. You have a volume and the three-way toggle switch. So right now I'm set to uh, the bridge pickup. So. This 
is a uh, bit of both. <laughs> This is the neck. Okay, so you hear a little bit of buzzing on the fretboard just because it's again it's uh, it's right out of the box. I didn't do any type of setup on it yet. All I did was tune it, and uh, that's pretty much it. But overall, yeah, it's a little bit of a setup. We'll do this guitar some good as it would with any guitar you buy brand new. And uh, and just for the record, just want you know, I'm also uh, kind of low key doing review of this Donner wireless system. Uh, I had this for a while, it's the DWS 3T. And just to give you an idea of uh, how um, how reliable this is, I have not used this or turned this on in over a year. Uh, I think it was on a full charge when I used it last, but this is way before the pandemic hit us and I just plugged it in and it's still working. So it's over a year of not being used and it's, uh, and it's working totally fine. So definitely check that wireless system out as well. Here's a guitar with a little bit of dirt. I'm gonna start off with the bridge pickup and work my way to the neck. This is both. This is the neck. It's a really versatile tone from this guitar. I mean, it sounds like a telly feels like a telly, you know, so if you uh, are looking for that twang and spank, I mean, this guitar will absolutely give it to you. Who should buy this guitar, right? Uh, the spectrum is pretty wide. Uh, this is a great guitar for a beginner, like uh, never played a guitar before, you wanna buy your son or your, your daughter or your, your niece uh, an electric guitar, 130 bucks, you get uh, a very, very well spec guitar with a gig bag, you see back there, uh, it comes with this guitar strap, which is a little bit short for me. I actually like my guitar a lot lower than this. And uh, it also comes with a 10-foot guitar cable. As a beginner guitar, this would be great. Now, of course, you still need to buy an amp and all that, right? Um, but this is also a really good guitar to upgrade to. If you have a guitar um, that's a little bit uh, more beginner than this, like for instance, uh, about a year ago or so, I, I reviewed uh, Donner's, one of Donner's first electric guitars was a Strat model. And this guitar is... Uh, a significant step up from that. This would be a great guitar to graduate to from that guitar. All right, if you buy a guitar pack that comes with an amp and you just want to upgrade your guitar, this is a great guitar to get as an upgrade. You'll still have the amp that you're using that came with your kit, but at least you'll have a better instrument to, uh, to learn on. All right, um, this is a great guitar to have as a toss around beater guitar for an intermediate player or a professional. You just need a guitar around that, you know, you need a Telecaster sound, but you don't particularly play Telecasters, that, that's where I fall. Um, then this is a great, a great guitar to, to have. All right, um, if you need a backup guitar, this is a great guitar to have. Um, so, you know, I, I would have no hesitation taking this guitar as a backup uh, to one of my shows and one of my gigs um, with my band. So, again, this guitar is uh, really, I mean, for the money, it's, it's incredible, right? It's, again, really well specced out. Nice maple neck, it's very solid. Uh, it's a nice C shape to it. Uh, again, basswood body. It has a, so it has some some body to it. Some has some weight, but it's not too heavy. Nor does it feel like you know like a, like a toy or like a beginner guitar at all, right? Um, and the electronics again. I mean, they're 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 super basic setup uh, as a telly, but it has really great tone. And it's a very acquired sound, but it's a sound that you feel like you want to start adding into your uh, into your your rig. Definitely a great guitar to have. On a side note, one of the things I'm really impressed with um, is how Donner is just uh, evolving. Right, if you take a look at these tuners, okay, Donner branded tuners. You look a little bit further towards the center, you have uh, Donner branded heel plate. 
And so those little details, okay, uh, Donner's obviously proud of the work that they're doing as they should be. So they're spending a little bit more on just kind of giving uh, their guitars a bit more of a custom feel, uh, which is awesome, all right? All the way down to the strap. You may not see it very clear, but it says Donner right there. And the guitar gig bag, of course, has Donner uh, printed onto the front as well. So I love that about Donner. They are evolving. Their, their uh, guitars are, are uh, improving in quality, playability. Uh, one thing that I think we're gonna start seeing in the near future is uh, more finished selections. Right now this guitar comes in a sunburst and this, uh, this kind of piano black. Um, I'm, I'm really seeing some new finishes in the near future and these guitars will sell even better. All right, there'll be a lot more to look forward to. I know they have a thin line um, F-hold semi-hollow uh, with two humbuckers on it. I would have loved to review that, but I already <laughs> picked this up before that one came out. Uh, but I'd love to review that one as well. I know their acoustic line is, is turning out to be really good as well. Their pedals, of course, are, uh, are always selling like hotcakes. So congratulations, Donner, for uh, you know, improving your quality all the time and always looking to, uh, to get better and to expand your, uh, your musical horizons for all of us. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.